Dari Agna Horror Ach Narantu Copra Pumachelish Kakun Chitukur Tanikurla Tishkent Mora Geratir Agus Arachyol If you walk on a hillside and you see a, an expanse of bloom and heather and you see the occasional rose peeping up here and there, Tommy Peoples is one of those roses in, in musical terms. Sheelan got core, and Sheelan got Zane Parson talked on dinner, less on tune. My only me and two tune, all dinner, Kahi and Parson talked the Yak Lesh. I got kids in the tunes at Dolly May or Tommy. Sheelan got me a cock as we exulag and come out, and Parson talked talker Agam Homai. When you hear Tommy, you know that you've been taken on a journey that is not, it's not about entertaining people, it's not about uh, showing his technical ability, it's about reaching some part of the music that only Tommy can go. It's like a personal conversation that Tommy is having with his music. Anything can generate uh, a mood, it can be the the people that are part of the music making, it can be the listeners, it can be, it just be, can, it could be the company that one ends up in, it can be the actual physical environment maybe of, um, it could be old photographs, it could be anything, it's, it can be memory, it can be, uh, <clears throat> it needn't necessarily be Joy, it could be, it could be a certain sadness either. So it's hard to define, and it's, uh, um, uh, it's, um, it can't be summoned. No, no. I was born in East Donegal. Actually, the area would be known as the Lagan. It, it was a particular area that never got touched by the Industrial Revolution. I remember electricity coming to the area. Pre that, it was just common practice that people visited, which they did a lot. And doors were on the latch, so you didn't knock, you walked in. And, uh, but it was not unusual for a, a sing-song to start or that sort of thing. There was music in the family, like my uncle Martha played fiddle and my grandfather played. So there were fiddles in the house from his time. I have a memory of, a very clear memory of my father bringing me to this first cousin of mine who was a good few years older. He might have been in his thirties then, and I was like seven at the time. And, uh, he played fiddle and bringing me there for about getting some lessons. So that was my first introduction to, to, to fiddle. It was never something that one got paid for or you could conceive a time when that might be the case or anything else. It was just something done for love.
Neil is going to be a shield. He's going to be a good one. 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 He's going In the late 60s, in the wee pub on Holloway Road, we four in the morning, and there were two great clear men there. Bobby Casey and Tommy McCarthy. I said, have you met Tommy Peebles yet? I said, I've heard the name, but I haven't met him. I said, you want to make it your business to meet him, you know? I said, what sort of a player is he? What style does he play? He said, he plays like Tommy Peebles. I went to Donegal on holidays and that there wouldn't have been that much music around the east side of Donegal. So again, it wasn't until I was a teenager and started going to the southwest and started to understand Donegal music a bit more that I, I'd hear it in his music. You know, before that it was just dead. Mr. Laird of Drum Blair, I guess Hector the Hero, like the Port Nimerson, he had way cool to work with the airing. Port Nimerson, she was Tommy people so cool. She way Tommy go balaclia. Jerry Nashaska, these hugs on the Port Nisha. Let's go. Zero ugly. Yet the hennem. <laughs> 